getting to know and playing for Coach Obradovich. He he is an awesome coach. He's he's a great basketball mind, and uh, I really enjoy playing for him. Yeah, and that, that's something I actually wanted to ask you, since uh, Zelko Obradovich is uh, quite a legend in Europe, and I. Uh, I wanted you to comment on that specific experience and what was the transi- transition like to go from NBA style of coaching to the more temperamental coaches and their supposedly rigorous practices uh, and practice sessions in uh, Europe. Well, Bradovich, he understood coaching veterans. He had Frankie Alvertis, who was a veteran on the team, and you know he was the captain, and and he was older. Um, he had, you know, a lot of guys that had just finished playing in the Olympics. So he had to manage their time. He had to manage their legs. He, he was a, he was a great coach. Yes, he was intense. And when he wanted something executed, he wanted it executed the right way. But he didn't practice as, as hard as I thought we were going to be practiced. All I kept hearing is nightmares. Yugoslavian coaches are, they are, they're too hard. And I thought Coach Obradovich managed our team very, very well. He didn't overwork our team. I think that's, I think he understood that he had a, a special group of professionals, a very coachable group of professionals that he was coaching. And when we needed to practice, we did. When we needed to have a light practice, we had a light practice. But when we played against each other and we scrimmaged in practice, we went hard. We we went hard. When he wanted something executed, yeah. And when we messed up, he would let you know, hey, I want it done like this. That's but, quite interesting. Oh. But, it was, but it wasn't like, it wasn't that hard to where I can honestly say he killed my legs. He didn't. 